some electricity from this rice field without destroying the harvesting of rice. We will get the rice as well. We will get the electricity from this rice field. So what we did, we did some small laboratory test first and we use carbon fiber and fiber for electron materials and then set up like this. And this is the initial condition. We made some uh, buckets full of rice plant and same Stale design but without without rice plant to compare whether the effect of this rice plant has some electricity generation. And this is the ending of this. So you can find some rice clone as well. And you say, see, when there is the uh, voltage generation, when there is rice plant or paddy, the voltage is increasing up to like this. And on the other hand, Without paddy, the voltage is almost constant. It is not so much happening or if, uh, not so much variation. So this proves that if the plant or the paddy gets some additional voltage, then next year what we did, we did some six samples and two of them are mixed with compost, that is organic fertilizer. So this is one percent and three percent, and suddenly you can find some differences between this and this is without plant. Same soil we collected from the same rice field, same rice plant, Itomebora, it is a famous brand in Yamaguchi prefecture and we planted in that way. And you see within two months it grows very well but with compost suddenly you can find some difference between the others. And it comes to the rice as well and like this. And from this uh, result, we found that the peak voltage when uh, found when we beat the bucket number three, that is the with the organic, that is compost. And peak voltage is around 700 millivolt. This is the maximum voltage so far reached uh, in microbial research in the world. And we found some very good relation in this um, initial stage the amount of solar radiation and with the amount of voltage. So when the solar radiation is high, voltage is also high. But after getting the rice, I mean growing the rice, then the, it is not so much very because at that time most of the glucose is used by the rice, growing the rice. And we take the I mean, length of the rice plant, whether it has hampered the length or growth of the rice. But we found that it is almost in the real field, real life field. And uh, the, uh, the length of this bucket one and bucket three and four is more than other buckets. This is polarization curve to check the efficiency of the, our cell and it is quite similar, framed with a very good cells, microbial cells. And to see the of the rice plant added with the um, micro, I mean our fiber, carbon fiber that we handle, we found that it is connected very good well. And if we see by the microscope, we can see that it's like hair like materials, nanomaterials, and the root of the rice plant at a very good way. So it causes the highest voltage generated so far in our research. So here is the conclusion. Bioelectricity can be generated from the rice plant and a small amount though in, in this stage it is small but it is also required for the people who are living without electricity and carbon fiber is a good electrode for plant microbial fuel cell and soil mixed with compost shows the higher value in the voltage. So today's uh, discussion I just addressing the four five major problems that is number one geothermal and health problem due to unmanaged of solid waste. So we can make the, recycle the organic waste to compost and use in this method. Then many of the country are suffering the organic matter depletion in the soil. So it will uh, cause the some organic matter supply. And uh, another thing is water food prices because we are not destroying any food products. We get rice as well, we get bioenergy. And of course this is green energy. No hamper to the global warming. The most important thing, the 1.6 billion people live without electricity nowadays. So we have to give some light of hope to this guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any questions?